William. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I lost you yesterday. Nos perdió ayer. I have problem, teacher, okay. with my computer. The good thing is that you are here today. So tell me, how was your day? Work, working a lot, teacher. Oh, really? A lot of work yeah. today? What time did you finish working? Read it, read it, teacher. Tell me. So, what time? Uh, what time did you get home today? Sorry, no, no, no. How do you say no pude, teacher? I couldn't. Sorry, I couldn't. Uh, I have a problem with my computer. Uh, oh, no, no, no. What I'm asking you is this. Today, today, what time did you finish working? Always uh, 5 p.m., teacher. Oh, all the same. That's every day. Yes. Every day. Okay, well, but the good thing is that you are here. Sorry, sorry, Ted. The good thing is that you are here today, ready for the class, right? That's good, teacher, that's good. Uh, excellent, uh, excellent. Well, rainy strong here. Oh, rainy. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Welcome to the class, William. Thank, Thank you. Teacher. Shanira, hello. How are you, Shanira? Hello, teacher. I'm good. I'm just working, but I'm ready for the class. I have a lot uh -huh. of work this day. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's the end of month. Then I have a lot of work. And I have another business. I develop a software. I had two meetings to today, and I will have I I will have uh, three meetings tomorrow. Oh, so you're going to have fun? <laughs> yes, I I'm a fun. Remember, I I told you about my. Um, hunted. I don't know what yeah. happened. Never more work. Uh, then I I connected in my cell phone. Oh, really? By my cell phone. Yeah. Oh, that's why I don't get to see you. Por eso es que no la veo. Yes, maybe at the weekend I buy another hunted. Yeah, because that's a problem. Yeah, I, I use a, a wireless, but in my computer, I don't know why the the wireless doesn't work good. Uh, work the microphone or work uh, the audio, but not together. But not together. Yeah, I if I have uh, audio, I don't have microphone. If I have microphone, I don't have audio. So could but it the be problem the jack? Is, yeah, maybe. And then I need to buy another asset with cable because I only have just one. Okay. Uh, 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 um, and your connection is with Jack. What about, uh, you can connect with USB, no? Yeah, but I try this um, handset with my cell phone and work it. Maybe it's the, so the, it's, plug yeah, it's the in computer. My computer. Yeah, maybe. Then I need a 
um, I don't know who do it say. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's a, a USB form to connect um, a plug because it's a converter. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. I try with this. Yeah, well, actually, you know, that's what I'm trying to get uh, a converter because I just got uh, the regular jack, but I want to do it. I want to connect the the headphones with the microphone using uh, USB. It's better. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe try. But in this moment, I don't have um, a handset with a USB connection. Me neither. That's the problem that I got because I got an adapter, but the adapter didn't work correctly. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I got yeah, a, a, a desktop. I got a desktop. So for a desktop, remember they got two connections. One for the for the uh, 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 headphones and one for the microphone. Well, but this one, this case. one just got one. In my case, my computer has two, two jacks. In front has a one jack and the same channel. Uh, you can use microphone and, and audio. But oh, that's cool. In, yeah, but in back have two, one for a microphone and one for an audio. Okay, well, my problem I is that- In front. Yes. Yeah, the, maybe the, the problem is in front of my computer. This jack maybe is the problem. Yeah, no, my problem is that uh, the computer's got the same at the front and in the back, but but in both places, uh, there are two. Ah, okay, and the, in this case, you need, yeah, a USB. Yeah, because the, the adapter that I got, if I plug it in, uh, it's a problem. It sounds so weird. Yeah introduce a lot of um, noisy. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem with the adapter that you get a lot of disturbance yes. with the sound. Yes. Maybe the, the better way is a USB cable directly. To the, to the headphones. Yeah. Yeah. Without, see, without see. compressor. Without converter. Without, yeah, that's interesting. I will look up for one. Yeah. It's just it's just uh, that they are not that the common. Uh, um, I don't know. M maybe for the call center is is the the most user. You know, I look I look up one of those. Perhaps I can find it. A good brand for this is Logitech. Just the cable or the whole set? Both. Okay, interesting. Very yeah. interesting. Well, thank you, Janita. Nice talking to you. I have a problem with my internet connection. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I can hear you, I can hear you. Okay, thank you, Janina. <laughs> nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Hey, Walter, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Ready, ready for the class? Oh, yes, teacher. And I'm happy, um, Walter, and I'm ready. Okay, that's the attitude, oh, my friend. Yes. That's the attitude. Oh. That's the attitude. Yes. Uh, let me tell you, teacher. Yes. Um, okay. And today, excuse me. And this day, uh, we had the the busy decline uh, for the import of uh, my company. Oh really? Uh, yeah. And how did it go? Excuse me. How did it go? ¿Qué tal esto? Wow. Uh, very good. Okay, excellent. Yes. 
of my company and at the moment is a uh, is company very good okay excellent excellent so uh, yes. you have you have had a good day you you have, have had, had ha tenido have had yes. a good day yes to be sure yes uh, and always uh, um a lot of work a lot of work and 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 this with well yes. you know it's that time of the year Esa época del año. yes uh, it's the moment is it's time <laughs> yeah when it's you time. have a lot when you have a lot to do yes Okay, Walter, welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Perfect, let's see who else is around. Hey, Marcella, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm fine, and you? I'm just great. Tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, it was a good day. It was a good day? Yeah. Okay. How was it? What did you do? Uh, working. Uh, working? <laughs> yeah. E yeah. Only that. <laughs> Only that? What time do you usually finish working? Uh, in traffic. <laughs> Uh, what, to get to what, home. what time do you finish working? Oh, um, like four, like four. Around four? Four, four. Okay. Three. What time do you get home? Um, depends the traffic, like. Okay, depends, uh, depends on depends. traffic. Depends on traffic. Uh, two hours. Mm -hmm. Two hours. Oh, uh -huh. that's a lot. That's a lot. And the traffic is so intense. I can uh, uh -huh. But today was a good traffic. Okay, that's cool. I mean, whenever there's Smooth traffic, it's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Marcela, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see who else is around. Hello, Fabiola, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you, miss? I'm fine. I'm in my in my work very busy. Oh, really? Fine. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, that happens. That happens. And tell me, what time do you finish working? Oops. I think we lost Fabiola. Teacher. Hello. <laughs> Se congeló. What time do you usually finish working, Fabiola? Um, at 4 p.m. Okay, that's fine. What time do you usually get home? Um, sometimes uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's okay. actually okay. Yeah. I mean, one one hour. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Hey, you don't have to hit that much traffic. Well, Fabiola, welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you, Fisher. Let's see. 
Who else is around? Who else is around? Mr. Osorio, tell me. You with me today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, now I can hear you clear. Excellent. <laughs> yes. That's great. That's great. Uh, can you repeat me? No, no, I can was you just repeat saying the question? hi. I was just saying hi. Ah, hi, teacher. So tell me, how was your day? How was everything? Uh, today I, I had a regular day and and I feel well. I feel uh, a, bit, a little bit relaxed uh, because I went to go to 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 run with my wife. Okay. Look, and, look you gotta a, say is this. A, look, me, you gotta say is this. I went. I went uh, jogging. I went jogging with my wife. Ah, it's not wrong. No. I mean, fue a trotar. I went jogging. Ah, okay, yes. And to a soccer field that, uh, that is in my neighborhood. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jose, and, welcome and, to the class. And my work, yes, yes. I, I, tell me. I think, <laughs> hey, in my work, in my work, I had a, a workload is, is now in line with what I can do during the day. Oh, that's nice. So that means that you are like relaxed. It's also. That's excellent. That's excellent. That's actually good. Thank you very okay. much, Mr. Osorio, and welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Thank you. Thanks to you. Let's see. Hey, Jensi, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Tired because it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just the middle of the week. It's Wednesday and with training. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it when it uh -uh. rains. Not because it... uh, when I am, um, I am in the in work. At work. <laughs> At work, sorry, I feel sleepy. Oh really? Yeah. So you wanna Today. be you wanna be in your bed cozy? Yes. And <laughs> I, I I I I I today I slept in the office. Oh. And, and my dear um co-worker Marcela took me picture. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh, for that, <laughs> for that bad, reason, I don't like rainy days. Okay, well, you know, I love rainy days. I love walking on, under the rain and I love driving when it's raining. For me, it's, it's relaxing. I like at night because it's not hot. Oh, yeah, of course. That's a fact. But in, in the day, no. Mm -mm. Well, well, right now we are in class, so don't fall asleep on me. No, so me <laughs> I will try. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jensi, and welcome to the class. Thanks, teacher. Now, ah, thanks to you. Let's see, Fernando, how's everything? Hi, teacher. Everything it's according to the plan. Everything is according to the plan. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Yeah. Uh, all things are are work properly. Okay. So, and I'm a little tired, but I'm fine, and I'm ready for the class of the middle of the week. 
Excellent, excellent. That's the attitude, my friend. Yes, that's the attitude. It's important. Yeah, of course it is. That's excellent. I like that, my friend. So, it's the middle of the week. How do you feel? Do you feel that at this moment in the week is hard or that it's easy? No, it, it's hard because uh, the end of the week is close, closely. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you have a lot to uh -huh. do. Yeah. Uh, in, my, in my work, uh, to, uh, uh, in, in this month, in August, uh, change the, the schedule, the schedule okay. of work. Yeah. And What's going to be your schedule? The new schedule is uh, uh, Monday to Thursday. It's from 7.30 at 7.30 a.m. at 6 p.m. And a uh, short Friday. Okay. So it's from 7.30 7 to, to 1 p.m., I think. So I, I never, oh. the schedule never applied that, to me. Doesn't apply, doesn't <laughs> apply to you. Uh, yeah. Doesn't apply to me, so, but it is, so. But on paper, on Friday, you are free early. Yeah, yeah. On paper. By the way, by the way, the next, the next Friday, this Friday, uh, the day after tomorrow, I, I had a meeting at 3 p.m. <laughs> Oh man, that's bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So but you are not supposed with... to work on Saturdays. Uh, yes, I think I, I I will work on Saturday. Yeah, that's bad. Well, you know. Yeah, but... that's that's the way it goes. But like I like we we said before, uh, we used to it. Yeah. You have to get used to it, otherwise you get too stressed. Hey, Fernando. Yes. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thanks to you, teacher. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. You? I'm just great. Just great. Tell me, how was your day? Not many cases? No, today is very different than yesterday. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Um, today, I don't have a lot of work. Uh, the, I didn't. I didn't I have. Didn't, I didn't have a lot of work uh, to compare yesterday than yesterday. Or, or? Compared to yesterday. Compared to yesterday. And it's a relaxed day. Maybe. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. What time did you finish working today? Um, maybe I finished work at the six thirty, but the my other uh, co-worker. Um, have the case and the my finish the schedule or yeah um, I fin uh, it's a uh, seven oh, oh that's that's late yes but tomorrow is my day off <laughs> oh yeah that's cool so tomorrow you sleep until late mm. No, because I see my father in the morning, but I relax, I don't work, um, I don't, don't stress. Uh huh. And didn't, um, no estoy, ¿cómo sería? I didn't, I'm I, not, I not uh, stay in the computer or in the living oh. room. Or oh, in that in case, computer. I don't. Ah, I don't stay in the computer or maybe like this. I don't prepare my lunch. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And I don't need that. Okay, perfect, nice. 
Excellent, <laughs> Maria Alejandra. Nice having you here in class. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey guys, let me get the attendance real fast, please. I'm Bareli Alfaro Gomez. That's not here. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Eh, Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present in the class. In the class. Thank you, Nicolás. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nula. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's see. Before we move on, let me just tell you something. As you know, today is the, the fifth class. Today we finished section one. So that means that today, after the class, I'm going to start getting your grades for section one. Eh, voy a explicar en español un instante nada más, el recordatorio. Eh, estamos en la quinta clase, este día terminamos sección uno. Eh, al finalizar la clase, yo debo de pasar notas de sección uno porque nos la revisan el día de mañana. Así que si estamos atrasados y podemos terminarla hoy, yo estaré muy agradecido. Si tenemos dudas, me avisan. Estoy revisando. A estas alturas solamente tengo dos personas que me han terminado la sección 1. Tengo algunos que todavía... Oh, no, perdón, miento, miento. Son cuatro personas. Eh, si tenemos alguna duda, me avisan. Yo voy a estar conectado hasta eso de las 11, 11.30. Con gusto les ayudo. Y pues bien. That's it. Oh, una aclaración. La sección 2 termina hasta la clase 15, ¿ok? La sección 2 va a ser más larga. That means that we are going to have like one week that we are going to be very, very focused on speaking. ¿Ok? That's going to be good for you. We are going to be very, very focused on speaking, practicing speaking conversations a lot. Okay, so it's going to be nice. Let's see, let's continue. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm just great. Tell me, tell me, do we have good news? Yeah, uh, thankfully oh. we have good news. Oh, oh okay. what the right word, thankfully, or? Yeah, you can say thankfully, that's okay. Okay. Uh, oh, really? So Excellent. Yeah. We sent a budget to a client and he said, well, he, we have a meeting yesterday and today to, at first, I believe he will think that the budget was really high. But in the meeting that we have today, 
he asked me to add some other things. So, oh, really? More details? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, so that's, it that's will nice. be really nice. So today, well, today, yeah, today, I'm gonna end the budget with the um, actualization of the update with the updates of the details and send to the client again. So he approved it and made the uh, the first payment. Oh, that's nice. The first payment or the down payment? Down payment. The down payment, yeah, down payment. Okay, that's nice. It's good because you didn't have to haggle. Oh, what? Well, I don't really remember. You don't know the, the word? Haggle, no. regatear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I mean, and the fact that they are giving you the, let me text this word for the rest of the class, the down, down payment is even ex, even better, no? Yeah, that's great. I'm happy because, uh, well, I we, I was working about eight days in different oh. budgets. Yeah. To prepare uh, to present I work to it. the client. Yeah. And finally, one said, yes, I have another budget with the same client, but it will maybe late a little longer because that other project is bigger. So he wants to make another uh, stuff be before he starts. Okay, well, the good thing is that there's still work to do, my friend. Yeah. And I mean, and it's even better because you know that you can provide for your employees. Yeah, that's really, really great. Yeah, because I mean, People is expecting you to help them. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Daniel. I really appreciate having you here. Let's see thank who's you. next. Who's next? Hey, Carlos, how are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. And tell me, how was your day, Carlos? Okay, I have a hard day because I have to, I have too much to work. Um, but I, I, I'm fine, teacher. Okay, okay, excellent. Just give me a second, guys. Please, please, very please. Sorry, guys. So, Carlos, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, Excuse me. So, tell me, Carlos, uh, how was your, your your work? I remember you were preparing a report. Yeah, was it a report? Yes, teacher. Uh, how did it go? Yesterday, I, I can't connect to my English class because- I couldn't, I, I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, connect to the, my, in the English class because I have to finish in form and 
I work until midnight about, oh. but I finished teacher, I finished and I, today I am ready to my English class. <laughs> okay, that's nice, that's nice. So what time did you finish working today? Uh, about at 11, four, four, 11. So no, four, today, nine. today. Ah, today. I finish at 5.30 5 p.m. Okay. You working from yeah. home or did you have to go to the office? Actually, I, I work in, from home, teacher. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So uh, it's I more know. relaxing. So, so. <laughs> so, so, teacher. I, I think uh, sometimes it's not safe. It's better to work in the, in the office because um, I, uh, uh, normally we, we have a, a schedule, and, but actually you, uh, sometimes you can or you don't, you don't have uh, yeah, uh, when you're working a specific from home. schedule. Yeah, that happens when you're working from home, man, they they send you work and work and work and man, that's a lot. Yes, I understand that. I understand that. Well, the good thing is that you're here in class today. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Nicolas, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, everybody? Good evening. <laughs> Well, I'm fine. How are you? How was your day? How yeah, you my day today? is is very good. Is yes, in in my work, I mm, nothing transcendental. Okay. Nothing, and uh, I today I was into university and worked the topics for the next year. Uh, oh, really? So preparing yes. the pencil. Yes, yes, is a new new option for the students. Uh, oh. uh, for for the, the 20, 22 years. Yes. Yes. Twenty-two years. Twenty twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, 20, and what's 22. that? So are they going to have a new career or? or new subjects for the... No, is the, uh, is the La Misma. It's, the same career. It, it is the same career and the same um, um, materia. Subject? So it's the, the same subject. Uh, the, um, the reason for design new topics is for the change the change in in the really in the real in the reality okay. uh, conditions so, so actually uh, what you are doing is updating the pencil uh, actuality actualizar yep updating update update the pencil Yes, okay, it, is the, it is the work for today. That's excellent, quite excellent. And I, if I came home early today and talked to one of my sons. It will, it, we talked, we talked about his progress into university. Oh, really? What's he studying? Uh, study uh, electromechanic. Elect oh, electromechanic. Yeah. electromechanic. Electromechanic. Okay. Which semester is he in? Uh, I don't know. I I know is the second years. Second year. Oh, so the study is yes. the for for cycle. Oh, oh yeah, the first cycle. Yeah. 
Yeah, the start, he is starting with the very interesting ones. Yes, yes. Hey, he he is studying in the uh, Ricaldoni College. Yeah. And your study is technical, uh, technical only. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. I understand perfectly. Actually, I, my, my high school was, uh, was technical in electricity. Ah, really? Where? Yep. Well, I studied at ET. I, yes. Oh, really? Yeah, I studied there in 19, I graduated in 1996. 1996. Yeah, I was 16 years old when I finished the high school in 1996, and then I started working. Oh, yes. And the ET is functional, actually? Yes. Yeah, it is. Oh. You okay. Uh, yeah, I had the opportunity to have some uh, my my I had three teachers who were uh, Japanese engineers. Two. Yeah, I had three Japanese engin engineers as teachers. Uh, one another one from Spain and one from Germany. In it was the very interesting. Yeah. Ah. It was very interesting. Quite yes. Interesting at, at the time. Of course. Very interesting. Yeah. Now, do they know the, the teachers are Salvadorian only? Yeah, that's a little bit bad, but you know. I mean, because it's always good when you get people from abroad. I'm sorry, teacher. This phrase, no understand. Okay. Let's see. What I said is this. Uh, it is always good. It is always good when you have people over from abroad. Es bueno cuando tenemos personas del extranjero. Yes, yes. Well, well teachers, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks to you, Nicolas. I mean, we got excited talking. That's nice, okay. that's nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, 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 well. Maria Luisa, where are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Maria Luisa? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. I, am, I, I, am, I, I am happy. Oh, really? Because, Tell me why. Yeah, because tomorrow is my graduation. Um, oh, from, from the master? Sí, from my master degree. That's uh, cool. The graduation is... Uh, it will be at uh, the Hotel Grand Plaza. That's nice, at, that's at nice. Four, uh, at four, I am happy. <laughs> so tell me, what what is your master in? MBA, administ uh, business administrator. Oh, really? That's nice. See? Yeah. Well. Congratulations, Maria Luisa. That's nice. Thank to hear. you. Thank you. Okay. In my in my work uh, today is a very uh, a lot a lot of work because I I I I had a to meeting, to meeting with a, a presentation, um, a gober, government entity, the, the entity, entity uh -huh. the, to the result of the board uh, of directors about the audit career um, for exercise um um and the uh, under december 
2021 eh, del 2020. Yeah, 2020. 20, 2020, ajá, uh -huh. the, uh -huh. the entity government. It's a presentation um, for a board of direct, direction y comi direct. audit committee. Committee. Lo, presen uh -huh. Lo presentamos al comité de auditoría. Auditing committee. Auditing committee. Sí. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and board of directors. Of, a lot of a lot of um, director. Uh, mucha gente. Uh, well, that's interesting. Quite interesting, Maria Lisa. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Roxana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. What up? What's new? Mm, I'm fine. I have a lot of work now. Oh, really? Yeah. Because oh. um, mm, it's not my work. No trabajo de mi empresa. Okay. I have a lot of homework with my son. Oh. So I have work from my second work well yeah well no actually that's your first job yeah it's my first job so. yeah you are first a mother then you are an employee yes but i am i am okay i finished work around 2 30 p.m because okay. then i i went to the uh, hospital de salvador El Salvador Hospital because yeah. I get my second dose of, of my vaccine. Vaccine? Oh, really? Yeah. How and, did it go? Um, I'm, I'm feel okay. Just I feel a little pain in my arm. But oh. my 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 mother give me some um, gave me get get me some acetaminophen. Okay, yeah, painkillers. Um, okay, no. Okay, well, what you should do is uh, somebody should slap you on your arm. Maybe uh, I I try to stay viva, I live tomorrow. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, if I'm not, okay. don't worry. If not, don't worry. We will get a coffee for you. Okay, okay, and you can uh, get another Roxana for the group. Oh, that would be great. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Welcome to the class, Roxana. Nice talking Thank to you. you. Thank you. Sylvia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Sylvia. How's tricks? Everything good. Oh, that's cool. So tell me, how was your day? Uh, it was it was good. Um, I'm just arriving home because my my shift was uh, in the evening. Oh, really? So at home, yes. What schedule did you have today? From one p.m. to eight. Oh my gosh, that's a little bit yeah, but you don't actually finish at eight because you still have to to, to present reports or something. Yes, that's it. Because I was finishing my it was like 8 p.m. when someone called and he said that he wanted to stay in the hotel. So I have to make the reservation and receive the, the guests. So I finished like 8 30. And that oh. always happens at night. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah. It's like when you are in a restaurant and somebody comes, I mean, you want to close the restaurant and somebody comes like at 10. And yeah. you're like, oh, and that because happens. The, rest <laughs> the restaurant oh. closes, the restaurant closes at 8 p.m. And all the time the people, people come like 7 and, and 45. They stay long. They yes, they have to stay long. 
And you cannot close the kitchen until they finish. Yes. Yeah, that's a problem. That's always a problem. Yes. Sylvia, nice having you here. Thank you. And welcome. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. Let's see. Welcome, Francisco. Welcome, Claudia. I'm sorry, but I don't have any more time today. I tried to make it longer, the, the speaking, because it was cool. And we need to always to have conversations, to listen to everybody. That's very important. That's good for you. So you can listen to different accents, different voices, different pronunciation. But today we are going to start our activities. Today we are going to work. Uh, I don't have a presentation for you today perhaps tomorrow, because today we are going to work with the manual. We have a conversation, then we are going to work the same as yesterday, solving exercises from the manual in groups, okay? In our first activity, let me tell you, it's going to be uh, this one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Our first activity is the conversation that appears in page number 15, okay? So we have Carla's phone conversation with a friend from an advertisement, advertising department. So there's the conversation. Remember, I will repeat it three times, then you are going to practice it, and then you're going to perform. So let me, oh my gosh, where did we go? Oh, here you are. Just let me share with you a small picture of this so you can have it there like ready, handy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Perfect. And the conversation goes like this. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan. But we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with a spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea you might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. I repeat, guys. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the, even, for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, guys, I repeat the last time. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. 
then customers will get the green pepper sticks. And you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity. Close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples. But he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, let's see guys. Uh, um, we're gonna go to the practice. Questions about the vocabulary? No. Meek. Meek. How, how do you say meek? How do you say meek in Spanish? Meek. Meek. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? My, my, Saria, teacher. Where is it, uh, Nicolas? Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to sell, save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. Might, might. I'm sorry, Nicholas. Might. Might. Might want to have. Okay, you might. That's actually the grammar point for today, Nicholas. I will explain it later. Hold on. Take it easy, okay? Uh, okay. The problem is that if I start to telling you what it means, I'm sorry, I will explain this little something in Spanish, guys. Si yo le comienzo a explicar en este momento qué significa, su mente va a comenzar a procesarlo así antes de pronunciarlo. And we are getting the other way around. Y lo vamos a tomar de la otra manera. Primero usted lo pronuncia y luego vamos a ver de qué trata. Ok. Ok, ok. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. You, you can pronounce activity, activity, and activity. Activity, oh. activity, yeah. Okay. But pronunciations are okay. It mostly depends on the person. Like, uh, let's see, me, I say activity. Activity, activity. <clears throat> activity, yeah. That's me, that's me. But you can pronounce both. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just give me a second. I just need to move someone. Perfect. Groups are created. Please let's jump in. Five minutes to practice. No, four minutes to practice. It's short. Hurry up, let's jump in.
Hello. Hello. Hello, Marcella. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi you're very talkative, guys. You are really very talkative. You go like, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello. So, um, Marcella. Yeah. Okay. Can I uh, start? Yes, please. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spike except to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to say goals and get customers to try the new product. Kind. Kind. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper stick that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good cool idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a bit, even like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay. Event, 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 event. Okay, okay. event. Okay, uh, switch. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. Uh, uh, but we need to step forward and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call discount a green pepper stick that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper stick and you hand them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't see of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or base baseball game. You could offer discount to the people who bought a, a ticket for the event. 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 Oh my, I will calculate. Kill, kill you later. <coughs> call, Luigi, call you later. <coughs> call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but they isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. <coughs> Luigi is going is is going to introduce a new kind of spice pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customer to try the new product. Um, hi teacher. Hello. Uh, <laughs> can I start? En alguna pronunciación. Let's Bye. hear it. Yeah. Sí, es que después a mí me gusta escucharlo para ver qué es lo que pronuncia mal o qué. That's cool, that's cool. Uh -huh. Just remember, oh, event, oh. event, event, event. Event. And worked is like that, but worked or work it? Worked. Work. Worked. Yes, worked. Worked. A new, new kind of spy. Pizza to the menu. We work in action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new products. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks no, that never great. sells. Then customer will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't, I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. 
You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Event. Oh, oh my. I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant mm -hmm. giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Perfect, Even, very well done. Can you repeat again, event, event, event? Event, event. 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 Okay, thanks. Um, I start. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. What about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call this font the green paper stick that never sell. Then customer will get the green paper stick and you hook them, put them up will with the spy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like sounds like a good idea. Do you mean you might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert? or a basketball game, you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Event. Oh. Event. Event. <laughs> event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside. Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back in a few seconds. That's great, that's great. There's Daniel, Marta, Carlos. Let's see who else is coming right now. Okay, perfect. I need to get the attendance again, guys. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Hello. Fernando, Mar Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo.
Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Thank you, Daniel. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. We gotta do the conversation. Perfect. And who's going to start? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Francisco Eduardo and Jose Osorio. Please, Francisco, you'll start. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to say cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotional, promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper stick that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will catch you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, perfect. Very well done, both of you. Just remember, event, 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 event. 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 It's, a pro it's a sound a little bit. It's not eh, it's not e. It comes from here. Eh, eh, event, <laughs> event. Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Fernando and Marcela. Fernando, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Uh, Luis is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call this cone the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customer will get the green, the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Perfect, both of you, excellent. Fabiola, Georgina, and Roxana. Fabiola, you'll start. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy, spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to sell cost and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call discount green pepper stick that it never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hung that up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close a big event, event. Like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but 
that he is um, eating people, the pizza is super spicy. Perfect. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fabiola. Save, save costs. Save cost. And worked, worked. Okay. Okay. And Roxana, remember, Roxana, could, could. No L, the L, no sound, okay? Could. Could. Perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Daniel and Marta. Daniel, you ready? Yes, teacher. Perfect. You start, Daniel. She beats her to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save code and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the clip paper stick that never said. Then customer will get the green paper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You may want to have a promotional activities close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, uh, Martha, concert, concert. Concert, thank you teacher. Perfect, now thanks to you. Now let's see, let's see. Nestor, you ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, your partner is going to be Maria Alejandra. Okay. Maria Alejandra, you'll start. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of, kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan but we need to save cost and get customers to try the new product how about promotional activities at the restaurant you know you could discount the green paper sticks that never sell then customers will get the green paper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza i didn't i didn't think of that so like that's a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will catch you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Maria, uh, I will call. I will call you later. Call. Call, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Claudia in the class. Claudia, you'll start, please. Okay. Rui is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to say cost and get customer to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call this clown the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the spice pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might, you may want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You call offer a discount 
to the people who bought a ticket for the event? Oh my, I will call you later. Luis outside the restaurant giving the free sample. But he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Perfect, Claudia. Samples, samples. Okay. Thank you very much. And Carlos and Silvia. Silvia, you start. Luigi, for instance, introduced a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. Carlos? How, how about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you put discount during the first tip that never sells. Then customer will get the green pepper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Perfect, guys. Flawless, thank you. Maria Luisa and Janira. Please, Maria Luisa, you'll start. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spice pizza to the menu. We work is an action plan, but we need to save cost of the customer to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green paper stick that never sells. Then customer will get the green paper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to big event like a concert or basketball game. You could offer a discount to people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call, call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but the Eastern telling uh, people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, uh, thank you very much, both of you. Maria Luisa, sounds, sounds. Sounds. Sounds like a good idea, perfect. Thank you very much. And um, Susana and Jensi, please. Um, Susana, you'll start. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spice pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but, but we knew with but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at restaurant? You know, you call, could discount the green paper sticks that never sells. Then customer will get the green paper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that sound like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to, pe to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi, it's outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. 
event, event, event. Event? Event. Event. Wilfredo, you ready? Hmm, Wilfredo didn't participate, let me check. Me, teacher. No, William. Okay. William, you and let's see who's going to help you. Claudia is going to help you. Please, Claudia. Okay. You start, Claudia. Louis is going to introduce a new kind of spicy visited menu. We work it in an action plan. But we need to say cause and get customers to try the new product. How are promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call discount the green paper stick that never sell. Then customer will get the green paper stick and you hold them out with the pigs, a spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity those day, a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to people who buy a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Lee, it's outside the restaurant giving free samples. But he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Perfect, thank you very much. Well done guys. Well, let's jump to next activity. And there's the question that Nicolas had. Let's see. Just a second, I need to get everything ready. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Now, look at the examples. Then we are going to do the exercises. How to use might and could. You use could to make suggestions. You see, you could talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. event. You could generate business in a community event. Okay. Remember, cool to make suggestions, okay? Might is often used with want or like to add politeness. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black Friday. Might, podrías but it's used to make a suggestion, okay? A suggestion. And it's very polite. It's muy amable, okay? You might want, you might like. Eh, desearías o te gustaría, querrías. You might want, querrías, okay? You might like, te gustaría. But remember, what we are doing is this. We are making a formal suggestion. Like, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, mm, Roxana, look. Help me out. Oh. You know, uh, it's Janita's birthday. Mm -hmm. And I... And I want to, to invite her, to take her out for dinner. What do you suggest? Mm, you might want to visit, no, no recuerdo. Mm, no recuerdo su restaurante favorito, pero lo voy a decir Longhorn. You, okay. might, you might want to visit Longhorn for a... Burrata. La burrata, la burrata, for a dinner. Okay, thank you very much, Roxana. Okay. 
अच्छा नहीं रहा यस टीचर ओके जानी रहा यू नो इट्स रक्सानास एनिवर्सरी वेडिंग एनिवर्सरी I want to give them a present. What do you suggest? You could give her a, a dinner for two. Okay. Which restaurants uh, do you for recommend? Her husband, for her husband and, and she. Um, her? Laca Laca, because okay. she loves the Mexican food. Perfect, excellent, thank you. I prefer a divorce. Oh, come on, don't be picky, don't be picky. I don't speak about this. Okay, it's Bye. true. <laughs> come on, Roxana, don't be picky. Okay, let's see, Fernando. Yes, teacher. Okay, Fernando, look. I forgot my wedding anniversary. It's today. Okay, man, I'm in problems. I'm in deep problems. So help me out. What do you suggest me? Uh, you could, you could run away <laughs> from, from away. <laughs> you could run away. You, you could go to visit uh, other country. You okay. could ask Roxana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she knows about that. <laughs> no, no, seriously, uh, you could ask it, you forgot, forgot it. And, and you could get her, um, no sé, pedir disculpas. Okay, ask for forgiveness. Add, ask forgiveness. Okay, you could ask. Yeah, I think I, I'm dead anyway. Thank and you, Fernando. For okay. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see, gosh. Hmm. Sylvia, help me out. Hello, teacher. Look, Sylvia. Uh, well, you are a young lady, and Jency is a young lady. But I want to give a present to Jency, and I have never given presents to young ladies. So, help me out. What do you suggest I could give her? Mm, you might give her like a bracelet. Or okay. a necklace. A bracelet or a necklace. Excellent. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, you never go wrong with jewelry. Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, for the rest of the class, do you understand how do we use cool and might for suggestions? Remember, you use cool, it's a formal suggestion. But if you use might want or might like, you're making a more polite suggestion. Both cases express a formal suggestion, okay? I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Ambos casos nos expresan una sugerencia amable. La diferencia es que eh, cuando usamos el might con want o like, estamos siendo muy amables. It's like, uh, okay, let's see. Carlos. Carlos is. Carlos is. Uh, look, Carlos. Hello, open your mic, please. Hello, Carlos. Sorry. Okay, Carlos, look, Carlos, I am your boss, okay? okay. And you send me a report. 
and I need to present that report to my boss. Do you have any suggestion? Yes, you have, you, you might, you might, you might be, want, uh, meet, you, okay, you might want to uh, meet with me and you could make a su suggestion so I make a question about the report. Perfect, Carlos. You use it exactly how I want it. Thank you very much. You see, when you are talking like perhaps to your boss, usted le hace una sugerencia al jefe, you gotta be careful, right? You have to be very polite, particularly if the boss is in the wrong. Más aún si el jefe está errado. You gotta be very, very careful. Or perhaps you are talking with a person from another company, but it's a person of a big authority, a big standing on the another company, a big position. So in those cases, you have to be very polite. You might want to, or imagine that Sylvia is receiving guests at the at the uh, at her job. She could use cool or might want to, might like to in order to give very, very polite suggestions. Am I clear up to here? Estamos bien hasta acá. Any question? No? Okay. Teacher, ¿podría repetir nuevamente, por favor? Okay, Nicolás. Could and might, they are used for suggestions, formal suggestions. Cool y might se utilizan para sugerencias formales. The only difference is this. When you use might, la única diferencia es que cuando utilizamos might, if we add want or like, si le agregamos want or like after might, después del might, might want, might like, estamos siendo mucho más eh, polite, eh, mucho más amables. No solamente formales, sino que Amables, corteses. Es una expresión muy cortés. Ok. When you say, when Carlos told me, you might want to meet with me. He is giving me a suggestion, but he's very, he's being very polite. Él estaba dándome una sugerencia muy amable. Eh, me está diciendo, podríamos, me está diciendo de manera muy amable, digamos, podríamos quizá reunirnos. Realmente me está haciendo una sugerencia que lo que él me sugiere parece ser de que va a ser mi decisión, aunque realmente me lo está poniendo like this. I mean, you are being pretty polite. Estamos siendo muy, muy corteses con eso. Okay. Like uh, Roxana told me, oh, you might want to take her to her favorite restaurant. I don't remember that restaurant. No, no idea. Okay. But she was being very polite with the suggestion. Estaba siendo muy amable con la sugerencia. Lo tomó muy formal y muy respetuoso, podríamos decir también. Okay? That's when we use my want or my like. We are very, be, we are being very, very polite. Okay, guys. But let's do some exercises so we can practice. That's always better. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Okay, we go again to the manual, to the insert for manual, and we got here. Complete the sentences using could or might. Compare your classmates with a compare your answers with a classmate. We are going to do exercise number five. How we're gonna do it? We are going to work in groups. Let me get you a picture of this so you can have it there. That's for the ones who got problems with the with the connection perhaps, or getting the manual. There you go, guys. So let's see, let's check vocabulary before we go. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Perfect. Okay, just let me see that I wanted to explain something before we move on to the exercise. Oh, 
Okay. My gosh, how do I explain this? Because there's one word here that I want to explain, but it's uh, sometimes it slips. Okay, in the sentence number three, let me show you up. Uh, in sentence number three, you got a compound verb. Okay, tenemos un two words verb, and the verb is to bundle. Ah, okay. The verb is bundle up. Now, uh, this verb usually will mean abrigarse, okay? But uh, it will also mean arroparse, but in this case, that one doesn't make sense, right? Now look, the sales team tried to bundle up the food with collectible mugs. Okay, in that case, they mean that they tried to present the food with collectible mugs. Remember, this is a mug, okay? So they will put the food in collectible in tasas coleccionables, okay? Because bundle, just the word bundle means hacer un manojo, okay? So, when you say bundle up, you are saying that they are going to put it into something, okay? Let's do the exercise. So let's see. You are going to be working in groups of three members. You will have three minutes for this exercise. Please hurry up. Jump in. Oops, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. You can jump in now, please. And the three, I think that is cool. The sales team could try to bundle up the food with collect collectible mugs. Collectible mugs. Like. 
I think that is cool. Teacher, I want a question, please. Yep. How do you say in Spanish with the number two and the number uh, in the number three? What do you mean? With, the word? with me, how do you say in Spanish? The, the, the sentences? My, okay. Look, uh, Nicolas, the thing is this. Um, Normalmente si usted busca y trata de traducir el verbo might, lo que va a encontrar es debería. Uh -huh. Pero si nosotros en español le decimos a alguien, usted debería hacer esto, no estamos siendo tan amables. amables. No lo estamos siendo. Entonces, la traducción directa no encaja acá. Y recuérdese que cuando hablamos de un idioma a otro, estamos interpretando. La interpretación lo que haría acá es modificarme el verbo, le agregaría la terminación ia. ¿Ok? Iría. Entonces, ia. Eh, por ejemplo, usted en la oración número dos dice, the boss might want to start. Eh, si usted dice, el jefe debería comenzar el evento con un discurso, eh, mm. en español... ¿Cómo le explico? No tiene tanto sentido, aunque en inglés sí es completamente amable. Es okay. una sugerencia muy, muy amable. Cuando usted, dice, usted le dice al jefe, yeah, you might want to start the meeting with a speech. Okay. Le okay. está diciendo de una manera muy amable, mm, debería comenzar con un discurso. Algo que nosotros en español quizás lo hacemos para que eso suene amable, quizás con el tono. O con le ser. parecería. Por ejemplo, o le ser más parecería. Cercano. Ajá. Sí. Sí, quizás esa sería la, la interpretación más cercana. ¿Le parecería comenzar? Solo que nosotros lo hacemos en una pregunta. Cuando queremos hacer ese tipo de sugerencia, lo convertimos en pregunta en español. Ajá. En inglés es una afirmación. Ah, ok. Sí, porque si usted okay. le dice al jefe, oh, le parecería comenzar con una... Con un discurso estamos haciendo una, una sugerencia por medio de una pregunta. Sí. Y está sonando muy amable. En inglés se hace con una oración afirmativa utilizando el might. Es el verbo de modo el que automáticamente transmite la idea de que se está haciendo amable. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It's, it's clear. It's a little bit complex, this topic. No problem. I am... Business with us frequently. 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 Oh, I was frequently. talking with another group. Uh, might want, lo podríamos entender como parecería. Uh, parecería. Yeah. Le parecería este, tomar una taza de café. We are making a suggestion very polite, right? Mm, oh, 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 um, Welcome to the class, teacher. Welcome, guys. Teacher, este, how, do you say, how do you say urgency? Urgency, emergency. Ah, emergency. Urgency. It's time. Okay. okay teacher. Finish, teacher. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Thank you.
William. How are you, William? Very well, my friend. Okay, Nicolas. okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me tell you the order. Number two. The boss might want to start the event with a speech. Number three. The sales team could try to bundle up the food with collectible mugs. Number four, the manager might like to land, launch a new line of kids meals. Number five, the event could be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. Number six, the store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with us frequently. Okay. Now let's see, guys. We got. I hope you did it like that. Espero que se nos quedó, right? It's correct, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just check on something before we move on. Okay. Now we got another exercise to perform. Oops, sorry. There we go. Okay, guys, let's see. We got exercise number six. And exercise number six goes like this. Look, we got publicity stunts, bundling public relations, loyalty offerings, sampling, okay? Now, what we are going to do, match these words to describe promotional strategy to their meaning. Let's see, personalized incentives, the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it, offering several products for sale as one combined product, the professional maintenance of a favorable public image, a planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Okay, now look, let's see, no, letter A, Publicity stunts. Roxana, tell me, what is a publicity stunts? Excuse me, give a minute, teacher, because I can't read in the... In the pantalla, se ve borroso. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a me... sign now. What about if I send you a picture of it? Page number? We are in page number 16. Exercise number... Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yeah, six, yeah, six. I get it. Publicity stones. A plan, a plain event designed to attract the public's attention. Perfect. Let's see. So she said, guys, that. Uh, This is letter A. Excellent. Letter B, bundling, bundling, bundling. In this case is, uh, this one I will tell you. In this case is offering several products for sale as one combined product. Uh, bundling means amarrar, liar, atar, abrigarse. But in this case applies to offering several products for sale as one combined product. Now, let us see, public relations, Daniel. The professional maintenance of a favorable public image. Okay. 
he said, the professional maintenance of a favorable public image. Perfect. Thank you Teacher. very much. Yes. Um, la literal A, um, que es publicidad, es Stones. Stones, ajá. Al principio yo así lo había clasificado, pero ya cuando lo hice a la, en la plataforma, me daba error y uh, me dio correcto seleccionar blonding. No, that's publicity stunts. Let, I will check the platform. There is a mistake there. Entonces tendría que regresar a la plataforma y habría un error. Because publicity stunts is a plan even designed to attract the public's attention. Y el de publicity stunts eh, me aparecía el de offering several. Y lo, yo lo tenía. Bueno, yo al principio lo había clasificado diferente, pero acá no. No coincidía cuando yo lo seleccionaba. Bien, yeah, we got uh, loyalty offerings. Will be a, 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 a personalized incentives. That will be D. And then sampling is the promotion of a product by distribution, distributing samples of it. Let me just check on something, guys. To be completely sure that I'm telling you the truth. Oh, let's see. Just a second. Okay, I will I will check it out and let you know about the platform. Okay, guys, lo voy a revisar en la plataforma y les aviso cuando me lo hayan preparado. Okay. Because sure. there was a little detail there. Yes, yeah, Fernando. Eh, en ese caso dejamos la respuesta correcta aunque marque incorrecto y luego se va a no, 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 no. Right now, do it. I mean, en este momento, déjenme lo. Eh, márquenos según lo que les pide ahí, eh, aunque sabemos de que no es la correcta, pero márquenos okay. así. Porque okay. eh, me va a registrar la nota como aparezca en este momento y esa va a guardar. Y recuérdense que a veces se nos tardan en arreglarnos cuando tenemos un problema en la plataforma. Entonces a veces puede ser que eso tome tiempo y no quiero que eso les afecte en sus calificaciones. ¿Vale? Okay. Teacher, y el caso Escuchame. que yo le había reportado del uso del GAN. Ah, eso también. Ya lo reporté y todavía estoy esperando respuesta. Es que si yo lo hice así sin el GAN, como mm. dice Fernando. Sí, o sea, hagámoslo en este momento como lo pide la plataforma, aunque nosotros sabemos que lo correcto sería con el DEN. ¿Ok? Porque okay. Lo, que lo que necesitamos en este momento en la plataforma es que le dé el puntaje. ¿Ok? Ok, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, uh, today's class has been like a little bit stressful. I know uh, the vocabulary is very complex. Tomorrow, we are going to be working with vocabulary related to procedures, okay? We are going to talk about procedures and we are going to continue talking about uh, uh, restaurants, about food, about menus, okay? Because in this level, we are going to focus mostly about that area. Tomorrow, we are going to be talking about procedures. Remember how to make something. Uh, and it's going to be very interesting. Don't worry, as I told you for the unit, for section two, we are going to have a long while, so I'm going to be able to focus on vocabulary. And perhaps I will be checking the platform before, so trying to get them fixed the little details beforehand. I'll make the time between tomorrow and day after tomorrow to do all the exercises and check them slowly by myself. 
but still, if you got any question like it happened here, don't worry, I already took note of them. No se preocupen, ya tome nota. And if they fix them soon, I will let you know. Se me lo arregla pronto, yo les aviso, okay? Uh, before we leave, I need to take out, to take the attendance once last time. And let's see, hold on guys. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez, eh, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Francisco. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present teacher. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present teacher. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Well, for everybody, uh, have a good night with the exception of Daniel. Daniel stays with me tonight. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to make a lot of exercise. I got a presentation for you tomorrow, okay? I'll try to send it before the class. Have a good night, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Daniel, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Okay, Hi. Daniel. Let's see, before anything else happens, uh, tell me, is there any topic or something that perhaps is giving you problem? In the class, yeah, I mean, right now. any... Not right now. No, no, right now I don't. That I, I don't, I have not in, identified. Identify. Something. Identify something now. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Well, then we are going to talk a little bit. Okay, we're going to have okay. a little conversation. Okay in order for you to practice. So we are going to get a personalized practice. So tell me, Daniel, okay. uh, how long have you been working in your company? How long have you had your company? Uh, the company starts in 2019. So, well, it, it starts legal. 
legacy. Yeah. Yeah, it was founded. It, started, it was founded in February, but I started working solely. Uh, yes. On October. You started working in? Comp fully or completely, I don't know. The year, no, completely. Fully. Fully, okay. I started fully on October because at the first month, I work in another place too. Oh, really? So you were yeah. working, you were having two different jobs. Yeah. You had your company and you had the extra one. Oh, yes, yes. But okay. in October, uh, we have a little trouble by the, the old work because they, when they hire me, they say, you're going to do, for example, that uh, it, it was a little structure that was really, not was difficult, was really easy. And by, in that way, I accepted the payroll. Payroll is for the payment. Yeah, the payment, the payment. Okay. Or the salary, but, you mean? The salary, yeah. But in, yeah, July, and August, they made me, uh, they gave me, gave me another different, well, another completely different type of structure that was a huge uh, responsibility. Okay. So I, uh, yeah, I told- You were demanding, you were demanding more payments. Yeah, and they said no, because you know, it's not the same uh, responsibility to make a new structure that I have a uh, hundred percent of control that what they are doing, then check out an old structure that they give me just uh, old plans that finally they don't wear build it at the same, uh, they will build it different. Probably the uh -huh. columns, columns, I don't know, columns. The, uh, the structural, that's the structural, estamos hablando, oh, yo conozco esa palabra, dame un segundo. Yeah, because, uh, It's just that um, in English, it's a es una palabra técnica. And let's see, it's the structural column. Yes, the structural column. Es una columna estructural. Yeah, the structural columns were not at the place that the plane. The plan cell. Plans, planners. The plan says like that. So yeah. uh, maybe uh, there are another with different dimensions. So I told to the to my boss at the time that I don't know if the if they made that change, they could uh, build something completely different. So I have no control of what I am checking. At, at the time, and they, they tell me, oh, it's only a change of the rooftop of roof. Uh, yes, I understand you, I understand you. Yeah. Roof. The roof. Roof. Yeah. The roof, so they are changing like a, a, the lamina 
from Sincalum that yeah. it really uh, is not heavy to an uh, insulated panel that was really heavy. And that means the structure uh, will respond different to an earthquake. So I don't have uh, the complete information to say that it will proceed to the new uh, configuration. Yes, I understand you. So it was it was a little bit complex, right? So the 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 the, the whole the whole situation was yeah. very complex. And then well what yeah. Yeah, and one of the principal problems that they always led all to the end. So probably a week after the day at the office to from probably 7 a.m. a.m. to 11 p.m. Repeat again, please. I couldn't hear you quite well. Yeah. Uh, they always made all at the at last time. So uh, about a week before the deadline, I have to work from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's and, crazy, my friend. Yeah. And they didn't want to recognize that uh, financially. And we start, well, the, the, all, there were about five projects in that way to the same deadline. And after that, my boss tell me, well, I will give you three more to one one or two weeks, I, I believe. And that was when I said, no, I'm sorry, but I can work that way. Yeah, of course. I mean, it was, it was crazy. They were like taking advantage of your knowledge and of your position. And I mean, that's not the way you are supposed to work. No, that's what I tell them because for the res uh, responsibility that I have when I design or check some structure is really high because if that structure that I design, for example, the people who build it don't uh, don't follow the instructions that I say at the plants and don't make the details that I said and the structure fail, I can go to jail. Oh, really? Yeah, because the, the structure, if the structure fell, uh, it maybe killed someone and that's jail for me. And oh, if it yeah, yeah. failed and don't uh, kill somebody, the it's your, owner it's your responsibility. can demand. Yeah, can sue. Yeah. sue. Can sue. Hold on. Sue. Okay. Uh, yeah, sue. Demandar. Ah, okay. The owner can sue me because I made the inversion uh, Yeah, the investment, Bro. investment. The investment, yeah. Mm. You know what? Uh, I will, hold on. Okay, Daniel, it's been a big pleasure to have this little conversation. And actually it's been very interesting. I didn't know they could, they could sue you here because of that. Yeah. I, I mean, I know that in the States, yeah, that's common happens. Yeah, in the States, okay. that's common happens. But I didn't know here in the country they did that also. Yeah, they, uh, maybe not always, but it's a really- It's a possibility. Yeah, a really big possibility. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, you gotta protect yourself. Yeah. Yeah, of 
course, I mean, uh, is your is your job, I mean, your responsibility. It's a big, big load. Es una carga grande. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. Please remind me what I told you and we will see what we can do about it, okay? Okay, teacher. It's a pleasure. Have a good night, Daniel. A pleasure too. Good night.